Hi, Dr. Jill Hubbard here. I'm one of the co-hosts of New Life Live. Today I'd like to talk to you about the idea of too much stuff. Haven't you heard your friends all complain about how they just have too much stuff and it seemed to accumulate over the years? Well, if you're halfway through life like I am, you start to realize that people reach a saturation point where all that you've accumulated throughout your life starts to get a bit overwhelming. You know, in the news um, more recently and diagnostically, the whole idea of hoarding has come onto the scene where they've actually, you know, defined it and stated it as a problem and a disease and something that falls often under obsessive compulsive um, disorders um, and, and has been, you know, so problematic that we hear the worst case scenarios on the news. And, and certainly over the years, I've had clients who have brought me in pictures of homes that they grew up in and how devastating it is to be practically drowning in junk. But I'd also like us to think about it because that's the extreme case. And someone that has too much stuff isn't necessarily at the point of being a hoarder. But it, it is a problem that, that grows and starts to be, create some concern for people. So one of the things we have to look at is what is the meaning of our stuff? Both my sets of grandparents grew up in the depression era. So there was certainly this mentality of waste not, want not. And so during a time in history of deprivation, people held on to things, people reused things. And as history usually goes, there is a pendulum swing. Post-depression era um, and post-war era, I think there was a swing towards indulgence and certainly we have been in an age where there has been a lot of indulgence and where we are into our stuff and we gather a lot of stuff and you've seen some pushback by the minimalist movement where you know people are trying to kind of re create a sense of almost deprivation as if there's something, you know, noble in that. And I really think it's somewhere in the middle. We don't need to completely deprive ourselves and have the cleanest, most organized house on the planet or be, you know, on the news because we've been hoarding. There's a lot of area in between both those extremes. So I'll continue on in another segment with more thoughts about too much stuff. For now, if you'd like more help on this topic or other topics, feel free to call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE.